<laughs> Welcome back little light seekers. It's Miss Shannon here. And on this channel, we go through the beginner's Bible with weekly lessons followed by a quick fun craft or activity after. This week we are continuing on our story of Abraham and Sarah's son, Isaac, and a simple act of kindness that changed his life forever. So I want you to put on those listening ears, watch the story and see if you can see what that simple act of kindness is. A wife for Isaac. When Isaac was grown, Abraham wanted him to get married. Abraham called a servant. Abraham said, go back to the land where we came from. Get a wife for Isaac there. The servant took 10 camels. He traveled a long way. One evening, he came to the town of Nahor. He stopped by a well. He asked God to help him. He prayed, when the girls come to get water at the well, show me the girl you want for Isaac. Let her give me a drink, and then let her give my camels a drink too. Down to the well came a girl, carrying a pot of water. Her name was Rebecca. The servant asked her for a drink, and she gave him a drink. Then she said, I'll give the water to your camels too. The servant thanked God. He knew that this was the girl God had chosen. He gave her a ring and two bracelets. That night, he asked Rebecca's father if she could marry Isaac. Her father said yes. So the next day, Rebecca went to Abraham's servant. Isaac loved Rebecca. Rebecca married Isaac, and they had twin boys named Esau and Jacob. Wow, isn't that crazy? That something so small, like getting water for a man and his camel, can change your entire life? You never know what is going to happen by listening to your heart and to what God is telling you to do to be kind to those around you. I'm sure when Rebecca went to go get that water, she had no idea that God's plan was bigger than her own. So just by lending that helping hand, maybe you can change somebody else's life around you or your own. It could be as simple as helping your mom or your siblings around the house, or maybe just holding open the door for somebody. But listen to your heart and what God's telling you, and you can make a big difference in the world. All right, so for today's activity, we are going to be making some helping hands, okay? The helping hands are gonna be made out of salt dough, and we are going to make them into bowls, just like what Rebecca used to give Isaac some water. So for this activity, we are going to need some flour, some salt, some warm water, a mixing bowl, and an oven safe container or what I'm using is a baby food container. So you're gonna want this container that is oven safe to be smaller than your child's hand because when they press their hand into the salt dough and you cut it out, it's gonna go over that glass bowl to go into the oven to bake. Once they're done baking, we are going to paint them. So you're gonna want some washable paint too, along with some paint brushes. So gather those activities and meet me back in the kitchen.
I really hope that you liked today's lesson and activity of making our helping hands just like Rebecca had. And if you did like this, please give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe and share with your friends so that we can make a difference in the world around us today. Something so small, like maybe sharing this video, can make a huge difference in someone's heart or in someone's house. So I will see you back next week when we continue the story of Rebecca and Isaac and something they should not have quite done.